So your thoughts on um, winning the series in the fashion that you did? Special performance today. Um, you know, Sunday's a lot about mindset, attitude, early game after a late game. Uh, the readiness of the team is what I was most proud of today. And uh, there was no doubt uh, who was going to win the game today from the first hitter of the game. And uh, good job by Rio setting a good enough tone and offense uh, relentless with quality at bats. Zero in the air column, which I love to see. Uh, so just really proud of our team today. What, go ahead. what specifically did you like about Rio's performance today? Uh, I thought he, I don't think he had his best stuff, but found a way to get out. Uh, our coaches, uh, Coach Brown and Coach Wanaka, did a really good job with the positioning. They hit the ball at us a few times, turned a nice double play in the first. Um, I thought he mixed well enough and competed well enough uh, to, uh, to give us a chance to win. Is your offense, the, the approach that you take, does that make it more sustainable? I think we have really good players. Others. I think we have really good players that take professional at bats. And I think when you have good players that do that, you're going to give yourself a chance to score runs a lot of different ways. And that's what this team does really well. Nick Quintana's reached base, I think, in 24 consecutive games. It doesn't seem like he's hit that freshman wall if that exists. What do you uh, account? How do you account for his ability to you know, sustain the success that he started out with this season? Uh, I think he's just a mature player uh, beyond his years. Um, the guy eats, sleeps, drinks baseball and has some ability, a lot of ability with that. And that's usually a good combination. And I think uh, what all of our players do, and Nick is, is at the top of this list, is they don't, uh, they don't operate based on how they feel. They operate based on their process of getting themselves ready to play and then competing when they're in the moment. He does a really good job of that. What did you like of uh, uh, Regis's at bats today? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. Dude can rake. What was the process like of trying to get him to that point this year? Alfonso? Yeah. Growth. Uh, it just, it's, uh, we've played the number one or two schedule in the country to this point. And that is, makes it more impressive what you're seeing now. And I mean, last year it was right in the fire. I mean, it was Rice, it was Tony Gwynn Classic. I mean, the guy's taken huge at bats at consequence. We probably don't get out of the regional without Alfonso and his at bats last year uh, against Sam Houston State. Um, I just think there's some guys that were put on the planet to hit. You know, we talked about that with Zach Gibbons, and Alfonso's uh, working his way into that category. He's also walking at almost four times the rate he was last year, too. What did you kind of emphasize in I think maturity, it, maturity in the at bats, and that usually has to be, uh, oh, it's built around swinging at the best pitch of the at bat, uh, swinging at your pitch, not the pitcher's pitch. You know, strikes better than an out kind of idea, especially when you have the hand eye coordination he does and the ability to find the barrel. And a lot of our guys found the barrel today, but he was at the front of that. I only had four hits or something, five hits. Something. Is this acceptable at halfway mark? Uh, man, this thing, this league is unreal. Um, every, everybody's good. I mean, somebody made a comment like the happy Oregon State's out of the way. I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, everybody, I mean, everybody in the league's in the top 90 in the RPI. And, um, I'm pleased that we've won some series against really good competition, both at home on the road and on the road. And, um, you know, it, we're just going to keep it about improvement. And, uh, and go from there. It's been a good recipe for us. You've, you've played kind of the majority of the top half of the standings, though, so far, too. Does that change anything? It has nothing to do with anything. In the, yeah, I mean, I, I, don't look at, I don't look at our schedule and go, that's a win, that's an area that, don't, that we don't play at a university that allows for that. And this isn't 1980 anymore. You know, there's some, everybody's good. Uh, people are investing more money in baseball. Uh, you can't go out in the summer and evaluate players without another coach from the Pac-12 where you're at. Uh, it's, it's a bloodbath and it's, it's not going to change. Um, I'm pleased with the accomplishment for our players because we get a day off tomorrow, but we'll be right back to work. I mean, we're facing you know the best pitcher in the league on Thursday. And I don't know if they won today, but you know the defending champion is playing really good baseball right now. How close are you to figuring out all the pieces of the pitching staff puzzle, would you say, at this point? Uh, closer than we were opening day. Um, I don't know that it'll you know, ever evolve into this is what we're going to do. Um, you know, when you play the season one game at a time the way that we do, it uh, affords you the luxury, I guess, to have some flexibility. And, 
try to put guys in position to be successful. I think the emergence of Tyler, uh, McGill, uh, Cody Deason uh, really is helping us and a shorten the weekend uh, for some guys that we ask a lot out of, which is, is great for everybody. If there's an area or two that you'd like to see further improvement in as a team over the second half of Pac-12 play, what do you think that would be? Uh, well, uh, continuing to piece together the, the pieces of the pitching staff. I think our defense has, has improved dramatically, and we're going to keep working on that. And then uh, I think their ability to continue to respect what it takes to be successful, we're going we're gonna to harp and hammer on that like we're not very good at it. But our players are really good at it, and we're going to keep, uh, keep grinding away at, at figuring that out as best we can. 18 runs again.